YouTube, it's me, Jan, your pudgy picker, for the eighth time. No, I'm exaggerating, but I, I don't like how this video is turning out, so I keep doing it over. So first of all, we start off with the legal schmeagal stuff. I am not a doctor or a nurse or in the healthcare field. I am uh, taking this because it's something I have chosen to do. Um, I do get my medications from uh, Mochi, so I'm not being compensated or given anything for like I'm not advertising for them uh, that is just the place that I chose and it's working for me and uh, so I'm not advocating you take these medications or any other medication that is up to you and your doctor and for you to manage that decision with the two of you so that being said um, if you are considering doing this I know Mochi Health has just uh, cut back on the cost of the semi-glutide and I think there's another one they do is it Zebbound or something they've also cut the price on that so this has gotten even more affordable since I've started it so if you are interested and you do make the decision to uh, do that uh, I will uh, let you know that I have a 40% off coupon code so if you want to email me down in the description box is my email if you uh, say hey I'm interested could you give me that uh, code I will gladly give it to you I'm not gonna put it on here I just don't want anyone to think I'm advocating for it above you know what you think you should be doing or your doctor I don't want to look like I'm pushing it but if you do start it and you do want $40 off just let me know and I'll send you the link I'll send you that coupon so that being said uh, when you get 40 dollars $40 off I get $40 off so complete transparency again I'm not being I'm not being compensated in any way to uh, give this information out or I'm not selling anything, so just keep that in mind. So, my weight loss on semi-glutide, week number seven. Can you believe it? We're almost two months in, goodness. Uh, my weight, uh, starting weight uh, for this week, which was 821, was 241.6 pounds. My ending weight on 827, August 27th, was 238, yay! So that is a loss of 3.6 pounds for this week. Very happy. My overall starting weight from July 1st was 264.4. That makes my total weight loss on this since then of 26.4. So yay, we're doing really well. Um, feeling good about that number. Um, before when I was doing uh, keto, I think the lowest I had gotten was like 226. So that kind of sticks in my brain as a number I'm getting excited about being at, just because I know that I've made that much progress. So how did I do this week? Uh, let's talk about my food. I ate uh, closer to 1600 calories naturally this week. And what I mean by naturally is that I uh, even though my appetite, of course, is still suppressed, um, it, it wasn't like a struggle to eat. Um, and also by the end of the, toward the end of the day, when I'm kind of looking at my calories, since I keep track, I write everything down. It wasn't like, oh my gosh, I'm like 500 calories behind. I should eat a handful of nuts or what am I going to have? Or, you know, that it seemed like as I was looking at my dinner numbers, I was kind of where I needed to be, which was good. Um, I still am not hungry, uh, but there are times I'm like, yeah, I'm thinking I'm starting to get a little hungry, and then that's usually when I eat. Um, of course, I'm still, you know, eating less because I feel fuller. So uh, what I do is I kind of measure out and put on my dinner plate what I'm going to eat, and then I kind of prioritize as to what I should be eating, which of course is my protein and my vegetable. Um, and then if I am not quite as hungry, then I'll kind of slack on the starch, which is fine. Um, side effects. Uh, my side effects were definitely more mild this week. Very glad with that. I had a, a tough two weeks. One week uh, was probably three or four days where you're contemplating, why am I doing this to myself? <laughs> and that was tough. Um, so this week uh, definitely more mild uh, have a little bit of tiredness uh, today's Tuesday you see this on Wednesday 
and my uh, when I do take the shot for the first day and a half I do feel kind of tired like like sleepy tired sleepy exhausted tired so if I do that either today or tomorrow if I need you know an hour nap I give that to myself but uh, I've heard of some people being like that way like like all week or being exhausted all the time that's not uh, an issue for me um, side effects there still is a little bit of that nausea I did talk to a pharmacist when I was in the store getting my uh, getting a few groceries today and asked her and I said I really don't want to take the Dramamine I know it can make you sleepy and I really don't want to somebody's yelling but uh, so she recommended a different kind of medication it's for motion sickness but it's not the name brand Dramamine and she said this one actually doesn't make you as tired so I'm not gonna show it now I mean I'll see how it works this week I'll use it and then if it seems to help then I'll show you what it is um, exercise I did take a couple of walks this week uh, with my symptoms being easier to deal with and easier to manage I was able to get that movement in uh, that being said it is very hot here today it is 91 it feels like 95 and uh, so I am taking, uh, you know, walks and getting out there and moving. Um, but I have not been taking uh, Tater with me just because the sidewalks are so hot and I don't want her to burn her little feet. So, yeah. Um, at the end of this video, I'm going to show you a clip from one of my walks. So if you're interested, stick around. If not, I get it. Um, so exercise is something I need to continue working on. Uh, hopefully with the weather I mean this is the last week of August hopefully 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 we will uh, be able to get some cooler weather at least where I can go out and take a walk and it's not boiling <laughs> so of course if you're like what last week of August yes these uh, videos I do and then I put them up next week so you are basically a week behind that's okay mood my mood was pretty good uh you know of course when you feel better and you don't feel sick it's easier to be in a good mood so that has definitely helped um any appointments i had this week actually today i had an appointment with my nutritionist i had scheduled this last time i talked to her like two weeks ago and the funny thing is uh, i ran out to the store did a couple errands and i thought if i don't make it home in time i'll just take the call on my phone which i can you know do the facetime and I pulled over uh, at a parking lot and went to look for on the Mochi Health, uh, what do you call it? The website, uh, it has a place where it says join the call. And I looked and it said I had no upcoming appointments. And I'm like, what? So I looked and it said I had this appointment was supposed to be yesterday. Now I've been very careful. I usually make the appointment on my phone and then I immediately write it down in my calendar and I don't know what happened and then I'm like well great I missed that I'll just have to go when I get home I'll pull up the uh, website and I'll go in there and I'll make an appointment so I went ahead and started driving and my phone rings which rings through my car so I'm not you know doing all this and uh, it was my nutritionist and she's like I thought I had you scheduled for today and I said yeah I went into the the website and it said it was yesterday and she goes I got that message too but I I know it was scheduled for today so I was very happy that she you know made that effort to to call and let me know and she's like well are you in a place where you can talk do you just want to do a video chat or do you just want to talk on the phone and I said no 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 we can talk on the phone that's fine so I continued driving home had my appointment with her um, her thing was uh, she didn't really have any set goals but she's like I definitely want you to be more regular with your movement uh, start writing that down um, I told her about having some issues with symptoms and we were she was like well how many days and I'm like well I think it was this and uh, she's like you know I don't if you have symptoms that are that pronounced in the future you know I, I really should probably know about that and I said okay and I said well tell you what I said you're asking about you know I was having some diarrhea and all that fun stuff and I said tell you what since I'm keeping a food journal this week if I have any you know certain kind of 
uh, side effects. I'll write them down in the day to day. So when I talk to you next, I can flip through and find them. She's like, that's a great idea. So that's one thing I'm going to do. Make sure I get my movement in. Uh, maybe, you know, if the days are going to be hot to try and do it first thing in the morning before it's too hot. Um, plus that helps if you do it and you get it out of the way, then it's not a big deal. And you're like, I don't have to worry about that. I already took care of it. So yeah, so that's definitely, um, what we're going to be working on. I said, when do you want to see me next? And she said two weeks. So I know you don't even have to use the nutritionist on Mochi Health if you're, you know, not interested. Um, I kind of wanted to just have somebody pay attention to what I'm eating. And now that I'm taking the shot and it is limiting my, uh, my appetite, I wanted to ask, you know, what should I be concentrating on? I want to make sure that I'm, you know, hitting, you know, those things that I should. Um, another thing the nutritionist said is she's like, okay, go over a day with eating with me. So I did protein shake and she just says, what in the last 24 hours? And I said, for lunch, I had a peach. And then for dinner, I had A, B, C, D, and E. And she's like, well, you need some protein with your lunch. That was specifically what she told me. And I said, she's, I said, <laughs> and she says, well, look, she goes, you know, there's lots of things you can do. And then she said, you know, yogurt. And I said, you know what? I, I do have Greek yogurt and I do, when I have it, I mix it up and then throw some fruit in there. And she said, if you're not really hungry and you don't really want to eat and you think about eating just fruit, throw it in the yogurt and have that. And I said, okay, I'll make more of an effort to have that for my lunch. So I got protein shake in the morning and then my uh, Greek yogurt. I get my Greek yogurt at Aldi's. It is so good. Um, and it comes in, I think, mixed berry and vanilla. So definitely going to be making sure I have enough of those this week. Uh, and making a special effort to have that because that's what I had for lunch today. So um, I guess that's it. I went ahead and scheduled my appointment for her two weeks from today. So I will be talking with her again. So yeah, that's how I did this week. I Like I said, I'm going to add that clip here to the end. Um, but I do want to make sure that I tell you I appreciate you. I'm so glad that you come and watch and stick around and listen to what I have to say and are cheering me on. I always appreciate the comments, especially in these type videos because they are more personal. I am putting forth this effort and anytime you expose yourself to the internet, there's always a chance somebody's gonna come along and be a poo-poo brain about stuff. So I'm very happy with that. So if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. Uh, if you are new or if you've been here a while, thank you. If there's anyone you think of that could, uh, that you might want to help them and maybe say, Hey, you know, this lady, she's talking about her weight loss and you've been thinking about that medication here. Why don't you listen? So you can share this video or you can share it to your social, social media. I would appreciate that. Um, you know, a lot of people who lose weight or try and lose weight on this or any other way here on YouTube are uh, constantly talking about, I want to be an inspiration. I want to get my health in order. It's, you know, it's, a, it's about me, what I need and what this is going to do for me. And in the meantime, or on the extra on the side, if it's going to help somebody else, that's great. That's wonderful. Look forward to helping in that way. So I'm going to sign off now, but uh, go ahead and take a look at my little walk I did the other day. I thank you so much. See you next time. big trees fell through here over the over the trail look at this one from our storm here's another big one I wasn't gonna talk through this video but <laughs> I don't know how my fat ass is gonna get across this because down here is a park and that's a street way down there Okay.
get over this big one. Ooh. I guess I'm so old I have to kind of look at the ground when I'm walking so I don't twist an ankle and lay here <laughs> for a week till someone finds me. I mean, you can hear cars. I'm not that far off the road here. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little walk. Mm -hmm.